So something interesting happened the other day. My own wife challenged me to a cable management 1v1 showdown. I did. So here we are. The audacity of this woman. What what prompted that anyway? Because I think I have better cable management than you, so I wanted to, you know. I'm glad we have that have on. Challenge. I'm glad we were recording that so we can play it back after I beat you. I hope you don't lose because it'll be really embarrassing for It'll you. be way more embarrassing for me to lose, yeah. right? Just to make things as fair as possible, obviously I have a bit more building experience than you, but we are using an identical set of hardware pretty much straight across the board, I think with the exception of SSD and memory because those don't really matter. But uh, yeah, pretty much apples to apples hardware. So you want to list, list off the components really quick? Sure. For the specs, we're using Ryzen CPUs. We have an ASRock AM4 B450 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a Wraith Spire cooler, an RTX 2080 Founders Edition. We'll each have an SSD, and for the case, we'll be using a Corsair Spec 04. Yes. I uh, intentionally picked that case out because of its, well, it's, it's more or less uh, an entry-level case, and so the cable management in it isn't uh, stellar. The I mean, perfect case for a challenge. Yeah, it makes it very challenging. There's no power supply shroud. There's very minimal space between the back of the motherboard tray and the right side panel and so forth. So it should be interesting. And finally, we're using a non-modular power supply. <sighs> also my idea to, to yeah. make things extra fun for us. Uh, and then we also have rules because we're not animals. So it's going to be 15 minutes. We're going to have 15 minutes to get the job done essentially and all the components are pretty much going to be pre-installed with the exception of the gpu and the ssd because it's going to be up to us where we want to mount the ssd there's a couple different mounting locations uh, there's a drive cage with three trays and there's also two mounting points at the back behind the motherboard tray uh, so that'll be completely up to us and then gpu i wanted to wait on that because depending on where you plug in your sata cable um, it might be easier to, to do that before uh, GPU installation. Also, we can use a total of five zip ties. They can be any size. We have two different sizes, large and small. You can mix and match the sizes, but you can't have more than five total. That being said, we can use the pre-installed zip ties. There are a couple pre-installed zip ties there in the case. Those are completely fine if you want to leave them alone. You can remove them if you want, but it doesn't grant you any additional zip ties mm -hmm. if you do. There's also uh, twist ties in, in the case that we cannot use. We have to remove the twist ties. We can't repurpose them in any way. Additionally, every single cable that can be used must be used. And if, if it's not by the end of that 15 minutes, then you incur a penalty. And we'll, we'll get to penalties in a moment. Additionally, if you can't put the right side panel on uh, relatively easily, or if it's just not gonna happen, that's also a penalty against your, your final score. So speaking of scoring, let's talk about how this is all gonna get judged. We're gonna have three judges for today. The first one is the one and only Chris, who is also our camera operator for today. Uh, Chris is a special judge because he's gonna be the only one today who actually gets to see our work in person. Mm -hmm. So his opinion is gonna be very important. Our second judge is our Twitter followers. We're gonna do a Twitter poll and they're not gonna know whose build is whose, so it's gonna be a blind mm -hmm. uh, vote. And then finally, we're gonna have a celebrity judge, our, our good friend, Paul. Uh, from Paul's Hardware. He's actually going to weigh in and uh, and he's, you know, he's, he's an expert builder himself. So uh, very important to have him I on board as well. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. He's not going to know whose build is whose either. You know, if he did, he, he probably would choose yours. <laughs> Clearly hates me. Each judge casts one vote, of course. Whoever has the majority vote wins the contest. However, for every penalty you incur, you get minus one vote against your total score. Right. So it could essentially put you out of the game. And that's Pretty much, yeah. I think I think we covered it. So, are you are you are you ready? Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Good luck to you. Okay. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good sportsmanship. I like it. You're gonna need it. Bad sportsmanship. That quickly 180. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's go. It's on. Uh, you ready, honey? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna start the timer. Count us down, Chris. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Let go. Okay. <sighs> I think I'll install the GPU first. That sounds like a great idea. Well, I'm not giving up any of my strategy, so you do whatever you want. I don't want your crappy strategy anyway. What? Where did my tool go? You having problems over there, Kyle? No. Oh, what's, I'm what's going on? I'm definitely not. Now, we didn't discuss this. Do all four screws have to go on the SSD? Uh, just two. Let's just do two. All right. Two it is. I'll deal with you later. FPC first. Well, it's always hard to install these in a rush. Gosh. Sounds like uh, I hear some struggling over there, honey. I just didn't realize there's so many screws on this bracket for the GPU. Oh, wow. You sound a bit overwhelmed. It's just, it's just annoying, that's all. All right. 
see my reach? Oh, barely. Barely reaches. I already have my uh, GPU and SSD installed, babe. How about you? Uh, I'm not saying anything. Go away. Everything's fine. Are you stressing out over there? Nope. Oh my gosh. I actually perform better under pressure, unlike some people I know. Me, me too. ourselves enough time to be honest. Well, sounds like a personal problem. These damn zip tie holes on this case are so thin. It's like threading a freaking needle. You can't even use the large zip ties. Oh my God, really? Come on. Okay. Oh shit. Three minute warning. So my strategy is not to be perfect. It just needs to be better than Heather. Please fit. Please fit. Okay, I've got 20 seconds here. Are you serious? crap that was hard that was so much more challenging than i thought how'd you do honey oh i can't touch anything okay so this this is my build it's not up to par with my usual quality of cable managing but i did the best i could in the allotted time that i had and i think i did pretty good all things considered you know i've got uh, i've got the excess cables that i didn't use nicely zip tied at the bottom of the case uh, i didn't have time to quite make this eight pin uh, eps cable as neat as I would have liked to. Obviously with the case not having a cutout in the top left corner of the motherboard, I had no choice but to sort of run it across the, the MOBO there. You can see I actually opted to mount the SSD in the lower tray just to uh, be able to hide some of the cables underneath the cage a bit more effectively. There's actual kind of weird tie down points here where there's just two holes. They're not really uh, traditional tie down points and the holes are very small so I couldn't even use the larger, thicker zip ties that we have on hand. But the smaller ones that actually do fit are not very long. So I had a hard time. I actually had to uh, go through one or two different zip ties that kept breaking because they weren't quite long enough to, to fit all these cables comfortably. But I, I at least got one of them on there. These were pre-installed from the case. I left those there. This is probably the, the hairiest part of the build down here because that's, that's exactly when I ran out of time. However, I did get one last large zip tie. You can look right there. Pretty much tying down a large bulk of these cables. Otherwise, the side panel would probably have had a really difficult time getting on. That was done at the very last second. But, there it is, the winning prize PC, I'm sure. Let's see how you did, honey. No. Let's take a look, We're come on. We're not going to, come on. you just stay here. Oh, oh, I gotta see this. No, you, you've been talking up a storm so long. Let me see what you did. So I had a few hangups that <laughs> obviously screwed me over royally. A few hangups. I started out installing the SSD. That was fine. You went right here at the top, top cage? Yep. And then, uh, why is my table moving? <laughs> it's 
fine. It's all fine. All right, so I had my SSD installed, I had my GPU installed, I was actually moving pretty quickly. But then when I was putting the, the, the bracket on here on the side, I had almost all my screws in and then I realized, I didn't realize how loose these were and they weren't even underneath the bracket. Wait, why were you worried about these ones? These should have never been uninstalled. You said I had to remove this entire thing. No, I, I, I was talking about this thing, the plate. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought that I needed to remove all of these in order to take this off. Just when I was about to like make everything look good, the timer went off. So basically this was a cable management challenge and I did zero cable management. Yeah, there's no way the side panel's fitting on that. No. Okay, so that would be one penalty. And then do you have everything plugged in? I believe so. Your eight pin EPS is good. 24 pin, check. We do have a front. Front panel connector is undone. There's one. Uh, that probably came undone when it fell because I made sure they were all plugged in before we the timer went so off. So you have one unplugged cable. I didn't say this earlier because I was trying to look good, but you'll actually notice that one of my front panel connectors came undone as well while I was in the process of pulling the other cables through, the thicker cables through. It kind of just popped out with the other ones. And I was very confident that I had all those plugged in as well. So I would suspect that your front panel connector came out before the timer was up. I knew I was getting a point docked with the side panel not going on, so I was really careful to make sure they were all plugged in. I think the table collapses right there. Oh, I don't actually think the system was in frame. Let me double check. Well, go back a little bit more. You can't see anything. Enhance. Enhance. Oh. Oh. I think this is one of your front panel connectors. It looks plugged in. Which is the one that's unplugged right now? I think one of the power. Top left. Top left? Yeah. yeah. See, that looks, it looks like... You might be good, honey. Yeah, I mean, I can't really see anything. I can't say yes or no. Okay, we gotta make a decision here. So, uh, because there's no conclusive evidence that you failed to plug in the connector before the 15 minutes was up, I feel like we should do the whole innocent until proven guilty. Let's just say that you only have one penalty against you for not being able to put the side panel on. I think at this point, we should just let Chris administer the other two votes to Paul and to Twitter, tally up the votes, put it in an envelope, and then hand it to us. We'll open it and declare a winner, so. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good, good luck. No. All right, here we are. Chris, do you have the envelope? with the results inside. Ah, uh, go ahead and reveal the first vote. All right. One at a time. First vote yep. is... Kyle, Twitter. Oh, I won the Twitter poll. I'm definitely losing. One for me. Chris, this is a pity vote. You can't put this in. Chris. It was not a pity vote. <laughs> you was. are fired. You are fired. Get out. I have a legitimate reason. Explain. Explain, Explain yourself. Explain yourself. Because on Heather's, it was the power LED, which is like, whatever. It's like, yeah, it's not plugged in. But yours was the reset button. So it's a functional area. Oh, so, you were really splitting hairs, <laughs> weren't you? <laughs> oh, and, oh, there's a second reason. And you have me on the edge of my seat. Because the cables that, because of that, the, you know, the side panel is not a tempered glass. You can't see it. So it really doesn't matter if it's messy or not. If anything, I felt hers was easier to close than yours because yours was bundled up with a, with a zip tie. Hers were so flexible to the point where they just lay flat anywhere they fit. So, so just don't do any cable management at all. That's, that's the best chance you have of getting I mean, your side panel on. functionality, you had a bit more functionality. Okay, well, you know, we we did make you a judge. We so did. that's that's our fault. I don't know what the last one is. Okay. Let's see it. This is the tiebreaker. This is for all the marbles. And and me. And Paul voted, and Paul for, voted for me. Thank you, Paul. Yep. Paul's my homie. So it looks like I have two votes. Wifey has one. And we both have one penalty against us, so majority wins anyway. Uh, looks like I'm the winner. Yeah, we all knew that. Ta-da! Yay, hooray to me. Good job. Good job, Wifey. Good job to you, too. I think a rematch might be in order. I think that needs to happen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed so you don't miss any more. No, or, or you can dislike. It's still, it's engagement. That's fine, too. Get subscribed so you don't miss any more tech stuff like this coming at you really soon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see y'all in, in the, the next, next video. video.